morning, everybody. DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Top Dolls, baby. Hashtag Farm Top Dolls. There's no update to the testing list today because it is a Saturday and Giants aren't in the office on Saturdays. Shaba has sent off their bureau tractor for testing. Sid Mining is working hard to get the 2020 John Deere update out on consoles. If you're not already, you have to go watch A2 Square Studio on YouTube. Meyer Family Mining have challenged me to break one of their mods, I think. A-Dub and Perma are working hard on the old Jin Massey pack. Casarius Mining are making more than just a front loader. 40 Mining have added new sounds to the game. Sia Mods gives me the feels on their new map law folds. G4 Modding have found a way to make shed updates very cool. Northeast Farm Group teaser new map. SMI Mod Team have a new website. Plus, Oxygen David addresses progress on their next unreleased map. Let's check it out. We will be streaming live today starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. GMT. Today's live stream will be on Lone Oak Farm consisting of lots of harvesting contracts to make as much money as possible before winter hits. And speaking of winter, we are going to be fully prepared thanks to A2 Square Studio David as they've sent over their winter pack for the TLX 2020. If we get any snow, you know it's going to be getting out of here. Get out of here, snow! We're going to be plowing it all up and melting any snow with the salt spreader as well. And if that wasn't enough, GeForce Bonnie has sent over the updated placeables for Lone Oak, which we're going to be taking a look at in hopes of building a new farmyard somewhere on the map. And in addition to all of that, JTurk has made a new version of Lone Oak Farm for us to continue the series even further with new crops and features not available to the public and is currently working on a Seasons Geo to go with it based off the originally modded version of the original US Midwest by Bjorn. Huge thank you to all you guys. Everything is coming along together. Very cool to make the most epic playthrough series ever on Lone Oak Farm. Let's go. Shaba has officially sent off their Bureau Series 6 edition off to Giants for testing. This is the original Giant software tractor model from FS15, and it has been modified to fit FS19. The model was almost completely modified in Blender, separating pieces and allocating different materials to it. It's going to have a starting cost of $48,000 with three different engine configurations, including 105, 135, and 165 variations. There are three different exhaust tube configurations, including black, chrome, and stainless steel. You also have the option to change up the wheels, color setup on the tires, Purius setup, which I can't figure out the translation from Spanish to English, and hose connections. Look out for this one on the testing list in the next week or so. Sid Monning has been doing some work to reduce the slot counts on their John Deere 8RX, which hopefully will resolve the issue for consoles and get it not only out with the update for the 2020 John Deere Tractor Pack US, but also the newly released European version to consoles as well. In addition to that, Sid also says that the John Deere X9 Combine will also have single and dual wheel versions, just like you guys have asked. If you haven't been watching David modding the new winter pack for the TLX 2020, then you are missing out. Over the past few weeks, he's been modding live almost every single day, showing off the progress not only making the previous update for the TLX 2020, but is now working on the winter pack for the TLX. If you've not already, go check him out on Facebook and on YouTube. Both of those are linked below. Meyer Family Modding asked, and you guys delivered. The name of their upcoming cab over semi truck will be the MFM Bulldog. The mod is still a work in progress, but is being created for all platforms. In addition, it sounds like they want me to test and showcase their upcoming new low loader, to which the community said that I would probably break it. Sounds like a challenge. Let's do it. A Dub and Perma are back at it with some more public information on the old Gen Massey pack. Today, they've got the UDIM done for three more models, including the 140 Tipper, 200 Forge Harvester, and the 160 Plow. More and more information is being released every day on this pack, so if this is something you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned to the channel as they are rocking right now. Casarius Modding released some new information on the Case IH 890 front loader being made for their Case IH Magnum 8900. Included with the front loader will be a bell fork and grapple for now. Sounds like we could get some other stuff in the future. What else do you guys think should come with the front loader? In addition to that and the tool, an update to the Magnum 8900 is being worked on right now as well. 4D Modding have made some new sounds for the base game. They also did a demo with them and the Fastbell via their YouTube channel. They say that the sounds in the base game folder are used in multiple implements, so they made new ones and loaded these in. To check these out, drop by their YouTube channel, which of course is linked below. 
I've been looking, and it sounds like PC players could get these sounds in the future to add to their game, but 4D are unsure of that at the moment, and unfortunately this is not possible at all on consoles because you can't alter scripts. CM Mods hit me right in the feels today and released a teaser video showing off their new map, Lawfold's Farm with Lawfold's Aberdeen share, which you guys know I'm super excited about. In the video, they leave from the store and drive around the map towards the main farm. We get to see the beautiful landscape and the breathtaking lighting. It's absolutely amazing. I don't know about you guys, but I get the chills watching this video. I can't wait to be back on this map. Speaking of getting back on the map, GeForce is getting back on your map with some placeables. Wow, that was not a good transition. You know what? I'm going to leave it in. Regardless, here's a great update that some of you have been asking for on their large pole barn, which he's already sent off to Giants for testing. In the update, we see two new colors, a new roof texture, more divider walls, and lower the building to close the air gaps. They've also added three switches with different key bindings to toggle visibility of the dividers to make the building however you want on the inside. They've also added tip collisions to the exterior and divider walls, adjusted some triggers, and modified the XML and translations. Big update heading your way. In addition to the large pole barn, we get an update to their storage sheds as well. This update's gonna be bringing new colors, including New Holland Blue, John Deere Green, Case IH Red, and Gray for everyone else. <laughs> GeForce has also cleared, leveled, and adjusted this for seasons, as well as added tip collisions to the walls and changed the ground type to gravel. The file names have been changed as well, so if you're using version 1.1 right now, it will disappear once you update. Just a heads up. Northeast Farm Group have posted some new screenshots from what looks to be their new map that they're working on right now, the new USA map. Here we get to see them with a Case Magnum and a John Deere 9650 Combine. I love a farm with green and red on it. Nice trigger for some people out there. SMI Mod Team usually release fact sheets on Saturdays, but today we get something a little bit different. Their new website. SMI are the modders in charge of the recently announced Scrisoni Compact 10 folding corn header. On their new website, you can find all the information on their mods and screenshots that have been submitted by the community as well. You can also find weekly information and keep in touch with everything SMI modding are up to. If you're interested, make sure you check them out. Link in the description. And lastly, today, Oxygen David has made an official statement that he will be announcing his next map in the next couple of weeks as it is almost finished and ready for internal testing. Keep an eye out for this one. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when anything is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of other projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, enjoy the Go Ham Fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Also, it's Saturday, so it is stream day. We're gonna be streaming about 30 minutes to an hour after this video releases, so make sure you check that out. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. legit haven't streamed in a week and a half. I don't even know if I remember how.